Okay, let me show you how you can make a keynote presentation. First, you open the program, keynote, and you choose a white template. Once you get that, then you have the template right here. And let's put it right there. And you will have here all the music that you need for the presentation and of course the presentation here by themselves. So the first thing you have to do is delete that and here in a blank space you're going to get the song that it's going to do. I'm going to show you how to do We Will Rock You. Okay? So when you open the folder you have one that says main and all the other notes right here. So the first thing let's choose this main and you drag it and drop it right there. Now you go right here and look, it's 512 by 384. 512 by 384. See? There you go. That's crooked, 512, 384, right there. So that's the first thing. Then the second thing that you do is pretty much this will be the home, and then you just create a new page delete that and then there you're going to see the notes right here and the very first note that's sol so you will go right here and find sol right there sol right here what is this this is something else you go to, to the jackpack right here so then that sol you just drag and put it right there so same thing. By twelve by three eighty four. By twelve by three eighty four. There we go. So once you have that, then you have to mark that note. To do that, you go to shapes, get a little triangle, and then the little triangle you make it uh, more or less like that. Make a little space like that. That size, maybe there. And then you just go to stroke right here and put none, and then opacity you go to red that red there you go once you have that one then you just go to well you don't see it here but on top there it says arrange and you go to flip vertical okay arrange and flip vertical and you pretty much put it right there so you're showing that note so that note is going to be so so you go to this to all the notes right here, and then you just find the sol right there. So that sol is sol four. How do you know it's, if it's sol two or sol three or sol four? Well, this is sol four, that one would be sol three, this one would be sol two, and that over there would be sol five. In this case, it's sol four, you just drag it there. Now, you click on this one, and you go to inspector and the inspector pretty much you go to right here a little quick time and then you put it eh, more or less around 70 there you go so when you click in there this will start playing right away then the next thing you go to the same inspector document and you click here presentation hyperlinks only this is very very important so once you do that, then you just click here and then you have the note, the sound, and the note. So if you have this pretty much, and you click right here to play, this is, well, nothing will happen because you have to make a link. Okay, well, I'm gonna do this really fast, okay? So then the next thing, you add a new page and then you go to the next note, which will be Fa sharp, go there, Find a fast sharp right here. Check back right there. Fast sharp 512 and 384. 512, 384. So that would be the next note. You copy this one. Command copy. And then you paste it there. And you just slide it and put it right there to, sell, to show the next note. And then you do pretty much the same thing. You add a new one, delete, delete, 
and the next node will be me. So you go to me right here, JPEG, me, there you go. Uh, you go to 512, 384, and that will be me. So now remember that each of them has to have the sound. So Sol has a sound, then you need the Fa sharp, it, same thing. If Sol was four, then Sol, Fa sharp, right here, Fa sharp, four, and you just drag and drop it there. And then this one, you go to the same thing and put around 70. There we go. 68, eh, that's okay, 68, 70, 71, that's all right, 73, that's fine. And then you go to the next, which would be me. You find the me, four right there. And do the same thing right there. And then this me. And you put 70, there we go. 68, or a little bit more. There you go. That's okay, me. And then you have to, of course, copy that right triangle and paste it there. And then you move it to the next right there and notice that each time the note will be here now the next one will be re so pretty much you add a new one and then go to re right here jackpack there we go and 512 384 there you go so then you go here control copy or command c or whatever if you you know how to copy and paste so that's easy. Then you go to the next re right there, and you have the re. Now that re will be right here in the sound, and you have re four right there. There you go, re four. So now you go there and go to the 70. There you go, 68. I don't know, it always goes to 68. That's okay. Now you have re. And then you have another two times me and me so you add one more and you have to go to me now notice that you have a me right there you see it right there so pretty much already have the triangle and the sound so you copy let me delete this one delete now you get the me right there and then that page you copy that one go to the end and paste now you have another me right there and another me right there. So this one, you just move it there. So notice that you have 289, 261. 289, 261. There you go, 261. Okay, and you already have the sound. So you just get this one right there, that's a me. And then you copy and paste. You add another page to the presentation and you just move this one 261, you just move it right there. 261, and you just move it to be 261. There. And because this is the same thing, look, sol, fa, mi, re, mi, mi, same thing here. Then you go to the sol, which is the first one, and go all the way to the mi, mi, and select all that, shift select, and then you copy all that, and then you go to the end, and then just, there you go. So you add the same thing again. All you have to do is just move this guy, 261 and put it right there, 261 right there, and then go to the next, to the Fa, move it, 261 right there, and then go to the Mi, 261 in Mi, right there, and then go to Re, right there, there 261 and another me 261 there you go and another me 261 right there there once you do that oh well of course you have to go to file and save and then you put the name right we will rock I'm just going to click save and once you have that, then this is how you can make the presentation work. So the first thing is go to the main one, number one, and then go to shapes and then you click this one right here to make a little circle like that. And you go to, let's say next right here. And then you just go more 
or less to cover that green next button and you go to fill opacity let's say 40 percent there you go so you can see a little bit and that's and then you copy that and paste and then put it right there and then you get another paste and put it right there okay once you do those three then you need a few more you need one for each note so I'm just gonna get this one right here and I'm gonna cover the note and I'm just gonna go somewhere in there and 40 there we go so this will go for that note control copy control V then you go to the next you cover pretty much we move a little bit that one to 12 I move it a little bit so I have to put it back to 84 and 12 to 84 and 12 there so now this one you have to make sure that you cover everything and then control copy control B or not control A. I'm used to the PC one there you go copy and paste and you go to the next note you can look at this kind of like fast like that maybe like that and then you get another one and you do it like that that's it once you do that then pretty much you select all of this and align arrange you don't see it here but uh, you know how to do it uh, line and top or bottom or whatever you want so once you align those objects you just select those again and you copy all that and put it all the way here so once you do that pretty much you have to align all of them okay clicking all of that and arrange align and top whatever okay now this is important key this one is going to go to number two right or the next this one is number two right here so you go to the inspector this is very important inspector and this will go to number two link enable link and go to number two now this one also goes to number two now this one goes to number three this one goes to number three actually this one it doesn't go to number two that's two three and this one will go to four four this one goes to five one for each note this one goes to six this one goes to seven this goes for eight this goes for nine this goes for ten right there ten this one goes for eleven twelve thirteen this is the last one thirteen now this one always is going to go to number one because that's home and then this one goes to the next right here next you go to next this one enable goes to previous there you go so once you have all that then you take this away and pretty much that's it now you just select pretty much select all and then this select the back and you just select all the link and then you go to zero so nothing will see but you already have it link so control copy or command copy whatever and then you go to the next and paste next paste you just pretty much paste all of them like that you see all of them one more Number nine, there we go. Ooh, something happened. I hear some kind of noise. No, it's okay. 
There we go. There we go. One more. And one more. Once you do that, notice that this one, it says previous. This will go to previous. There is no previous. So then this one, you just select that one and link to what? Number 13. So when they click, they go to 13, right? And then you go to number 13 and this one would say next. There is no next. So then this will go to number one. One. And those are the only two changes that you have to do. You close that and then once you have everything ready, you go to one and you save. That's it. And then click on this one and that should do it. Watch. You have the sound. And then if you click in any sound, you will hear the sound. or you can go to the next it will take it to the home and the next will be the next and you can actually see the notes right here as you click on there or you can go back and then you hear the song backwards and you can actually see the notes and pretty much that's it this is a key note presentation so I hope you have fun and you can do a lot of this, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.